fine i'm back i can finish this today i guess <laughs> i'm fucking tired oh god i got i got some sleep i shouldn't still be tired but i am okay i see what's confusing me is this figuring out where to start all right so That's straight too far back. Okay. What a difference a good night's sleep makes, right? Because I was not feeling it. Has to go in. Just a little bit, just so she can have a waist and then out. Alright. Now that that's established, I can erase these lines that is to help me figure out where to start, where this is where to finish. Oh, God. First thing in the morning, right? I don't envy people who does this as a career. This is literally just me trying to draw because I wanted to, to learn the skill. It's not a career choice of mine. The finished product will be fantastic, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know the fuck I did, but this is not aligned, is it? It literally has no line there. Just right where the hand is. And it might go a little past the hand, or. No, I don't think it needs to go any further than that, maybe slightly. But if I do want to make it a torso longer, I can't make the curve go out as much because the curve should only be right to where her, her hip is going to come out. So. Sometimes I have to put imaginary lines places. Mm -hmm. 
It's an element that's established of, oh, okay, so that's where I want that to be. Connect the dots. This is <laughs> lots of erasing and redrawing in this skill. I'm not a professional. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. I'm going to make so many freaking mistakes. I'm not tired, I shouldn't say that. I'm just not as much of a morning person as I portray. It's like I used to be a lot more of a morning person. I'm just not that anymore. Sometimes I leave some of the lines on the inside to make wrinkles. <laughs> Whereas wrinkles tend to look a little bit more natural in a shirt. Where the elbow is. Still not quite sure about that form, but. I feel like it's getting a little bit too thinned out here. Yeah, that's okay. That's just where the multiple strokes are for. To figure out which one looks like the best. And then connect them later. It's gonna look ugly at first, it will. I'm trying to figure out which line makes more sense. Right. This skill is to look past that. Sorry, that was bugging me because that was an accident and I don't want that there. It's actually getting in the way of my canvas. Like I said, I avoid hands if I can. And so, the hip dips. Oh, a little bit too much hit my mouth. Oh, fuck. Forgot, I forgot. I made the eraser that big. Okay, we just need to get back to regular size eraser. 
I know what you're thinking. Hey, you know, such thing is too much hip on a sister. But there is. Is she had too much hip? She had way too much hip. I'm thinking about possibly making her with a pencil skirt. If I can avoid making legs, I would totally avoid making legs. <laughs> this is me trying to avoid hands by having them like, do something like. Yes. It looks awful or no. That's not the best you're gonna get out of me. This is honestly the best you're gonna get out of me. I'm not a hand person. I hate doing hands. Does this well, no, one of them too. Also, so I can just do what I'm doing now and I can keep adding fingers. That way, it's not really too small. Anyway. It's a horrible looking hand. It is, but I, I did warn you guys that this is not my forte. You have to look at some of my other hands. They are so bad. And I'm deciding to try to do freehand this and not use the tool that I usually use. <laughs> bad. Okay. It's okay. Because it's a learning process. Now legs have a little bit of a curve. They're not straight. Did you know that legs aren't straight? I mean, I think most people know that. 